Hi friends, it's Navneet Divedi back with you. Today we are going to learn how to calculate OEE, that is overall equipment effectiveness. Ideally speaking, in factory uh, we should have a hundred percent output from we should get a hundred percent output from a machine. Uh, there are different method to calculate the effectiveness or efficiency of a machine, like uh, how much it's producing, how much time it's running. Uh, it's producing good quality product or bad quality product. There are some different uh, dif there are different uh, parameters which can be used for calculating the effectiveness of a uh, machine. Um, but according to TPM, that is Total Productive Maintenance, overall equipment efficiency is uh, effectiveness is used for calculating uh, total efficiency. So what's exactly the comp exactly the components of OEE? There are three components like availability, performance, and quality. For a machine to be 100% effective, it should be available for all the time it's allocated or planned. It should give 100% uh, performance. That is, whatever time it's running, it should uh, it should be running with full speed. That is, if it's, uh, it's, it's uh, ideally producing 10 parts per minute, then it should be producing 10 parts per minute actually. And whatever part it's producing should be accepted, but it should not be rejected. So three factors are uh, availability, performance, and quality. But many times it happens that whatever time we have allocated for oper operating of machine, some time is lost due to some failure of machine, some breakdown uh, of machine, or some time is definitely lost in setup. Setup is uh, one of the losses which which can't be neglected. It, it's uh, inevitable. So these are some losses which occur from net operating uh, time. So already we are having this operating time, which is reduced due to failure in setup. So actually a uh, machine is available for only this this area running time and out of this running time only also there is some there is some loss of uh, production of part due to the slow working of manpower or some many times it happens that on on production shop you can see that we will see that uh, operators are talking each other the, then definitely it's going to hamper our output produced per uh, per minute so that that perform that's come under performance loss then finally, whatever we have produced is this much actual output and out of that also there are some rejected parts also. It's not possible to produce 100% okay part apart from any machine. So out of that we get this this good output. So this was actual what was required and this is what we uh, obtained. This was what we obtained but this was this is only useful. So if we see uh, effect efficiency of machine then machine is producing this much but what effectively it's producing this small quantity only so it's always our target to increase the overall equipment efficiency in order to have good output or good function of machine so this can be done by increasing the performance increasing the availability and increasing the quality of the machine uh, quality of the output that we are getting from machine it's not like that only Increasing the quality, we will uh, be having the uh, best OE, uh, best equipment efficiency. Because every time we, we target only a zero defect, zero defect, zero defect. But what what about this performance and availability? If we are increasing availability by this much on the also, then everything there will multiple multiple effect. Because if we are targeting on only quality, there will be increase in this this area only. But if we are having uh, in, in, uh, improvement over here, there will be multiplier effect. So now we will see how to calculate OEE and what the world class OEE means uh, what should be our target to have OEE 80%, 90%, 100%, 20%, 70% like that and for different factors how much time should be it, uh, it should be available to us and performance and quality wise and we will solve a problem also and we will see uh, how to calculate a sheet in Excel so that it can be uh, it's a ready made tool available to us so that uh, whenever we are uh, we want to calculate a OE, we will directly input some parameters and have a ready-made output. So I'll take you to that. So as already discussed, we will be calculating availability, performance, quality, and finally overall equipment efficiency. Uh, uh, there are few terms that we need to ca calculate. These terms I will be telling you while I will be calculating. Secondly, 
what are the things that we require to input to the input for calculation first of all we need to uh, know what the length of our shift because then only we will come to know uh, what's the available time for machine to run so suppose we are having shift length of 8 hours okay then we need to convert it into minutes because uh, there are some other short breaks which are generally in minutes because breakdown is in minutes setup time in, is min in minutes so it's better to convert hours in minutes so equal to our shift length into 60 okay it's fine now now there are many uh, these two breaks short breaks and meal breaks are planned breaks like like we have planned that there will be this much of break is an hour shift time so if we are having tea break suppose we are having two tea breaks in the start of shift and, and end of shift so we are having two breaks of suppose 10 minutes each then we will be getting uh, total loss uh, minutes in 10 into this two into 60 okay fine oh sorry it's already in minutes sorry i need mean not to end multiply it by 60 it's my mistake yeah. then meal break uh, suppose we are having a single meal break of 30 minute then it's equal to this into okay now downtime uh, what's downtime it downtime includes the uh, breakdown of machine if there was any breakdown of machine during the shift then how, for how much uh, how long it was under maintenance and if they set up because, because many times it happens in the start of shift we are having, doing setup for the, the complete shift so whatever time is lost in setup we need to consider here suppose we have lost our 20 minute in setup uh, our focus would be here to reduce this setup time that's why we are for this reducing this setup we are using many techniques like uh, single minute exchange of die and many external setup we are doing off 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 machine setup so that will directly transfer the off off machine setup to the machine uh, machine so there are different techniques uh, we will uh, talk to uh, talk about them in some later videos okay then this is ideal runner rate ideal runner rate uh, gives how much uh, uh, what's the quantity of output we will be getting per minute suppose a component is produced at an any machine for every two seconds then ideal runner rate, uh, runner rate will be if in two seconds we are getting one product then in uh, one minute we will be getting 30 product so as simple as like that or uh, if uh, any if a product uh, takes five minutes to be processed then in uh, one minute we'll be getting uh, it takes five minutes uh, in then one minute will, it will be one upon five parts then we'll be getting one upon five parts in one minute or equal to one divided by five so 0.2 part will be produced in a minute so sup uh, let's suppose our product gets produced in Two second every two second we are getting any uh, product from our machine or sometimes it happens that our pro machine is producing a batch of 10 parts every uh, uh, one minute then then it means that in a one minute we are getting 10 parts so then every six second we are getting a single part so, so like that we have to calculate our our, our ideal runner rate and give input over there so i will take uh, we are having output at every two seconds so every two seconds we are having output then ppm par uh, parts per minute will be 30 okay now total pieces produced suppose uh, that we will enter in the last after uh, we, are, uh, we are done with our calculation or suppose we will enter over here only total piece, uh, pieces produced in a shift uh, suppose we have produced um, some 10,000 uh, 10, pieces in a first shift okay reject uh, how much pe uh, pieces got rejected suppose uh, out of these uh, uh, some some um, randomly 73 pieces were rejected we don't know just we have given uh, taken any random number we will see how to manipulate all these in further shifts now first of all uh, as you have seen that uh, first of all we need net operating time and net running time so plant production time is shift shift r minus whatever we have plant breaks so it's equal to our plant shift then minus breaks of short break minus lunch break so out of 480 we are having uh, 430 minutes are available to us for production then next come um, operating time out of this available time for production actual how much time was con uh, available for producing or giving output from machine so it's equal to 430 minus whatever uh, downtime was there Suppose there were 20 minutes 
time down time due to setup okay so out of 430 410 was available for production now good pieces good pieces means uh, whatever we have produced minus rejected parts so it's equal to total pieces minus so these are the data we are having now availability availability what just these are the ratios just like efficiency efficiency what's actual output minus uh, divided by total uh, total input so what the uh, actual output for regarding availability availability is consider uh, is uh, regarding time so it will be what we have actually out output so it's it's a world class here i am having a chart availability is if available time is more than 90% of time is available for production then it's a world class okay performance performance includes how effectively you produce like uh, if uh, 10 parts are coming in a minute then if you are producing uh, 10 uh, for, if you are running a machine for 10 minutes then 100 parts should be produced like that it's it shows that how effective you are producing your uh, how effectively you are giving your performance so it's equal to whatever we produce total pieces upon whatever uh, is your uh, production time uh, whatever you produce upon what's your operating time this will give actually uh, what's your run rate not ideal it's uh, it's uh, it will tell you what is your run rate upon your ideal run rate ideal run rate is 30 that is in 30, uh, per minute you should give 30 uh, parts so but in in numerator we will be calculating how uh, how much you actually got so it's 81.3 and our performance would be above 95 at least 95 that's a uh, world class value so there is scope for improvement so we'll just manipulate this value later to see uh, what's the actual oe how to get actual oe it uh, now quality quality is or whatever you have produced uh, out of that how much was uh, how many were good good pieces so it's equal to good pieces that we are having 927 upon what we actually Produced. So it's 99.3, yeah, 99.3, and quality should be 99. That that's we that you will see uh, everywhere. There should be zero rejections, so zero rejection. So if we are having a rejection of 73 out of thousand, uh, or uh, 10,000, it's a it's a huge because uh, zero ppm or one ppm is now the trend in organization. So you need to you need to work over there. Okay, finally. multiplication of all these will be giving you your oe actually i have not read it is its decimal place ah uh, we got 76.95 it's very less scope from huge improvement so it in instead of 1000 we if we are producing 20000 Oh, yeah, it it shows that if your PPM that like uh, your idle run rate is thirty, then you should at least produce twelve thousand piece per day in order to meet your all the requirements. Uh, but scope for improvement means so that you need to concentrate over rejected parts. that you need to reduce their uh, rejection from your organization so hope so this was useful to you you were able to calculate oee and got to know what's exactly oee in further videos we will see how to calculate productivity how to calculate efficiency how to calculate effectiveness and all those things regarding production line uh, so till then bye bye thank you and these are some base major losses that we consider during calculation of our oe or these are the main losses that we should uh, keep in mind that while we are calculating oe that these should be considered and we should try our level level best to reduce them like breakdowns these all this results in our loss of our operating time goes under availability degrades availability and setup and adjustment this also again goes in the downtime and degrades our availability or availability time availability of time 